Welcome to the Stateless Code Cast. This is episode number nine in our series, statelesscode.com WordPress. So um, at the point now where I'm going to try to get the uh, the sidebar to show as a sidebar um, alongside the main content on larger screens. So this is just a temporary uh, dump of the source in there. So I'm going to go to the layout here. App.lay.php. We've got our main. So here is where you see Tailwind example here. So we've got flex and then we'll start with flex and flex auto and see what happens here. Well, at least see what this does. So that does that on this, and you can see it's still there on the on the mobile. So we want the very least it gone from mobile. So we'll make this and deflex. I don't know if that. I have to go into all the other ones and modify them beyond that. So now content shows below there and we make it, let's see. That's where it, the breakpoint is there. So obviously our uh, sizing of uh, the main section there needs to be uh, one we'll keep it its correct size or I could be wrong so I think we need flex none on our main section there So that gives us something that's readable. I think I've 
want more margin, right margin on this. But let's see what happens as we So that's still a decent header sidebar juxtaposition. under at that breakpoint. So right. yeah, it's only right now showing on the index. single post layout or the search results. Yeah. So we shall increase our margin right on the large at least the XL situation here. So let's go back to our app.scss and then I'm not sure I Let's see what happens when we switch it from medium to large for that flex. better as large rather than medium. So we'll keep that as large. Now let's go to our our situation here. So our margin right can you break up apply across lines? I'm not certain. I guess I can just hit enter and see if it compiles. So margin right four. Let's see if that compiles. Got a little yarn build. Compiled successfully. Let's see if that gives us a little bit more breathing room. It does. All right, so now it's time to make the sidebar less ugly. So I'm going to make this probably the, the stateless blue, and then we'll um, so the the archived portion maybe I'll make different, but um, at least for the the top we'll start doing some styling here since it's right up against the edge.
x-axis. We'll see where that takes us. Do a refresh. Oh, I actually want padding rather than margin. Let's try that again. So this is going to be uh, yeah it always needs to be recompiled that's the the drawback of doing the directives all right refresh that looks better Hopefully I won't have super duper long non-breaking path name in my own org. But I think I can, now that I've got the sidebar here, dial back the, uh, the left white space here. So let's see if I can do that. Let me also check the responsive look on this. Yeah, that's all right. unresponsive it kind of shrink things down that's not bad either other than let's take a look at the the color now now that we know where it is we can be a bit change this to the stateless glue needs to be light. Try that. See what it does. All right, we've got our. That looks better. Okay. And then. Let's see here. 
it's not gonna on a thing that doesn't have the ridiculous width there. Let's see if we can take care of this text overflow. Try that. All right, let's see what that does. Aha. So our So that's yeah, that's more what I want to do than just ellipsis. So we will do that here too. Go back to our main site here. or compile. All right, let's see what this looks like now. Change the this archives portion. Let's give that a little bit of visual offset. Okay, so I will 
We added a specific section in the sidebar for content info. Right now, I'm just going to try to see. Go back to do pink. Just so I can see where it is. I've got a syntax error. to apply. Try it again. All right. So let's see where this falls. So by default, it's kind of inset in that sidebar. I think I want I think I'm gonna make this I'm gonna make one of these serif and one of these sans serif. Let me I guess I'll try it both ways. I'll try it first with the main content serif and the sidebar sans, sans. All right, so let's see what that looks like. Flipping them. All right. Let's recompile. All right. So I think I like that better. section here. Let's start. Styling that some. Info. I think I'm gonna. So, for the most part, it's faster to put in the CSS classes and just refresh the page than to compile every time. So, I think I'm gonna get things to where I want them via um, working in the um, in the HTML file, and then I'll extract them out and compile once I'm closer to where I want it. So, we will go into the sidebar. start working on this just for fun I'm gonna see what happens if I just take this tailwind play structure and throw my sidebar footer in here I just need to close everything off now All right, 
let's just see what happens there. All right, so that got very I don't need the outer box there. Let's All right, let's see if I broke everything by taking out that outer item. Okay. Aside from the, the text uh, needing to have a different item there. All right, let's see what it looks like on small. All right, I think there's some potential there. So let's get rid of the the pink background. We don't really need anything yet on that. compile. All right, where are we now? And we come out of I want almost to like give a a negative margin for this, and then obviously I'll change the text color, but um, readable we go maybe we do the the sea foam color there See how the original stuff went. There we go. Let's see if that gives us something. Interesting. Ooh. Yeah, let me see if I can bump this margin negative for. larger screens and see what it looks like 
Oops. Mobile. We are making some progress. Maybe I don't have the like link styling and some of this other stuff we want to do some more with, but this is almost almost launchable in its current state. Um, we need oh, that's what I want is absolute left zero. took it all the way to the very, very left, which is not what I want. All right, so I need relative in the parent container. Which is in the layout. It's not left zero, it's going to be potentially responsively determined here. Ooh, that is terrible in the Let's abandon that, at least for now. I'll commit what we've got. We're running a bit Okay, we can maybe throw it up here. Reload it. good enough for mobile it is good enough for big Dicey when it squashes. And then medium. Medium it looks good. So stop there and commit. Pick up, try to finish off the or get to a point where we're adequate for our sidebar and footer and then see what else we can um, do. I think we're close to be able to release and then we can just iterate after that. So All right, 
got the message commit push see you next time thanks for watching this stateless codecast be sure to like comment subscribe and spread the word you can follow us on social media at stateless code until next time keep coding and don't aggress against peaceful people or vote for others to do so on your behalf.